All right, so we have this electric salt and pepper grinder. You can use this for all kinds of different stuff. And in full disclosure, this was provided to me in exchange for this video. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So let's see what all comes in this package. This is gonna be pretty cool. Um, I've never had an electric salt and pepper grinder before. So this is just gonna be interesting to see what all comes in the package, how it all works. Now, my assumption is that you can use this for uh, multiple different spices, not just uh, salt and pepper, but we have the user manual here. It looks like we have uh, one for salt, one for pepper. And then we have the charging cord and it is USB type C, which is what I like to see. I'm really happy that it's USB type C. And then it looks like we have uh, the base as well. And if I'm assuming correctly, you just plug the charging cable into the base. When you put it back here, you can see the two contact pads for each of the grinders. All right, so once we have it out of the plastic, we can see there is uh, some tape here on the grinders. That's what I thought. We have to pull that out. Probably what's what I think is actually almost kind of cool about this is that these are just AAA batteries. So while this is charging it, I, I'm just going to make an assumption that you might be able to just put regular AAA batteries in here. Also, because if you look at this, you can take these out. So if you, that actually makes this where it can last even longer because you could eventually, like if these batteries start to degrade, you could just put in uh, a different pair of rechargeable AAA batteries or possibly even regular AAA batteries. Don't quote me on that. We would have to test that theory out. But let's go ahead and put that back on here. Go ahead and put that back in there. And then that's pretty cool. And we do have a light down at the bottom so you can see uh, whatever you're grinding there. And then it looks like the base. So where the uh, charging things are on the base, it doesn't matter. I'm going to assume it doesn't matter which one you put that on there. And then we do have a window on both of these grinders where we can see what is on the inside so that's pretty cool so so far and it's going to be the same thing it looks like on this one and then we do have on the inside where it says i don't know if you can see this on the camera there we go it says like coarse and it says fine which means there's going to be some sort of adjustment that you do in here i'm, I'm assuming it's in the uh manual yeah, so you twist this, you can move this piece here, um, and then, you know, one way it's going to be more coarse, and the other way it's going to be a lot more of a fine. So when you turn this um, clockwise, it's going to be more fine. When you turn it the other way, it's going to be more coarse, and you can kind of decide how you want on that. And then it's the same thing with this one. We're going to have to peel this tape off here. Looks like we have just a stopper there. Pull that back up. And remember, these are just, re it looks like just rechargeable AAA batteries, which I, I, I actually like that they did that more because like I said a second ago, this is gonna be, it'll last longer now almost potentially because of that. There we go. And once again, we have the window here so you can see, did you put the salt in here or did you put the pepper? That's pretty cool. And then they can just sit up there or like it, like I said, because this is a battery, even if this charging station stops working, you could just put triple A batteries in there, which actually makes this even more awesome. So 
there you go. I'm excited to kind of use these more uh, full time, but the rechargeable salt and pepper chargers, that's really cool that we have the charging pads. And then we have just a little hole right there in case, you know, a little bit is coming out, but uh, you know, and that's gonna look really nice and clean on a kitchen countertop, you know, just you have it like this. They have their own little base. They have a spot to go. So you're not gonna be like, where where do I put these? Well, and put them on the charging pad, on the charging base. 